A strong El Nino, big reason why we are being so warm this winter. Likely end up going to be in the second warmest December on record, so not a big surprise then that all those creepy crawlies aren't hibernating anytime soon. And when it comes to snowfall, yeah, we picked up an inch and a half in Rockford today, really not sticking around. It's melting as soon as it hits the ground for the most part. Big reason why we're only looking at two and a half inches of snow on the month, roughly. That puts us about seven inches below average, and it's yet another December in a row uh, where we aren't reaching that average amount. Uh, I think we have to go all the way back to 2016, the last time we had anything above average for snowfall in December. So these warm Decembers can have a lot of side effects as a result. Uh, the snow today, pretty impressive. Uh, as you can see, the snow can vary depending on the snow to liquid ratio. So usually it's about 10 to 1. An inch of water yields about 10 inches of snow. When it's very dry and powdery, perfect for skiing, it's more like 15 to 25 to 1. Today, we were closer to 6 to 1. That is a lot of moisture packed into that snow, and if it stuck around, it'd be, it would have been great to build snowmen with or pack into snowballs because that really can cling to itself pretty nicely. It would have been a lot of weight, though, to shovel off the driveway, so thankfully it is melting as quickly as it falls for the most part. There are some reports of some slushy roads from Dixon to Freeport, so be a little careful if you have to do any driving late tonight. As you can see, the snow is uh, moving out pretty nicely. A little ringling, lingering rain here and there around the regions as we turn to future track. Snow continues to exit, but a, a few rain showers may still try to sneak in before Friday starts. Uh, as you can see, though, by sunrise, we should have that out of the picture. So most of Friday looking dry. So wintry mix is exiting. Watch for slush uh, late overnight, but with temperatures above freezing, a lot of that should melt. Then as we go throughout the day tomorrow, pretty quiet outside of a slight chance for some showers early. Then as we look towards New Year's Eve, so flash forward ahead to Sunday, you can see that Sunday afternoon has a chance for more light snowfall. Looking likely it would be out by the time you're heading to those New Year's Eve parties, however, and by midnight expecting to see dry conditions. So that is some good news as we start to ring in the new year. New Year itself starts out with lots of sunshine and seasonable temperatures. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, have a long stretch of sunshine and dry weather next week. So start Start of 2024, uh, definitely we can ease into that because we don't see much for active weather or really any big changes in the weather. And we're keeping our streak going, hoping to make it one more day to round out 2023 on a high note up to 117 as of tonight.